hello dear students today we are going to do another chapter from your communicative english main course book of class 8th and here we are going to do unit number 2 section 1 unit 2 is wit and humor before uh, starting of the chapter uh, here some uh, exercises are given as warm up exercise on page number 35 in your book here answers for that Num answer number 1 yes sumi is a witty girl answer number 2 may vary uh, so you can have uh, a different answer tenali raman birbal maywest etc answer number 3 uh, it is uh, dependent on you so you can formulate it according to your thinking now let's come to section 1 that is cookies here exercise let's read and find facts it's on page number 38 answer number 1 is part b answer number 2 is false answer number 3 part a The narrator is sitting at a table in a railway station. On the table there is a newspaper, a cup of coffee and a packet of cookies. There is an ordinary looking guy wearing a business suit sitting across the table from him. Part B. The narrator wants us to get the scene right because there is an unexpected twist at the end of the story. that involves a packet of cookies the reader must be able to relate to the scene to appreciate the humor in the situation answer number 4 the narrator's first impression of the stranger was right because it is proved at the end of the story that it was the narrator who was mistaken answer number 5 According to the narrator the british are very bad at dealing with someone who steals their cookies in broad daylight answer number 6 is part a answer number 7 part a that in this sentence refers to the fact that the narrator also took a cookie from the packet the stranger had opened uh Answer seven, part B. No, the stranger continues to take cookies from the open packet. Answer number eight, part A. The stranger must have thought that the author was an insane person. He might also be thinking why the author ate away his cookies one by one. Answer eight, part B. The narrator must have been thinking that the stranger was a shameless person who did not make an effort to apologize. Answer 9 The punchline of the story is a moment or two later the train was coming in so I tossed back the rest of my coffee stood up picked the newspaper and underneath the newspaper were my cookies. now let next exercise let's discuss it's on page number 39 answer 1 if i would have been the narrator i would have first checked if it was actually my packet of cookies then i would point out poli- politely that the other person has mistaken my packet to be his hers answer number 2 the stranger must have also been an englishman like the narrator the narrator has already said that the english are not socially equipped to handle such situations therefore the stranger must have felt equally awkward now next exercise let's talk it's uh, on pages 39 to 40 part a weren't they didn't he were they would you 
part b pupil a you play cricket don't you pupil b yes i do pupil a you aren't a wicket keeper are you pupil b no i am not pupil a you can play for us as a wicket keeper can't you pupil b yes i can pupil a good it's settled then okay dear students uh, for section 2 of unit 2 section 2 that is the canterbury ghost if you want to get more answers please subscribe my channel so that when i upload the uh, answers you can get the updates goodbye